Michael Burry is not your average investor. He doesn't follow the herd or chase the hot trends. Instead, he swims against the tide and bets on big things everyone else thinks are crazy. This is exactly what he did during the 2008 housing crisis. Burry saw it coming and made a fortune while everyone else lost big money. Michael Burry is a master of unique investment and thrives on going against the trend, finding hidden values and profiting from them, while others only see risk in those hidden gems. Burry's investment philosophy is fundamentally contrarian. He is good at identifying opportunities where the market has mispriced assets due to herd mentality. His skepticism towards conventional wisdom, coupled with his meticulous research, allows him to uncover hidden gems overlooked by the majority. This contrarian approach is evident in his early investments in GameStop stock. So, in this video, we will learn how Michael Burry predicts and applies his investment strategies. While the big short put Burry into the spotlight, it would be a mistake to reduce his investment strategy to a single stroke of genius. Michael Burry's approach is complex, but has some fundamentals. Number 1. He does fundamental research Michael Burry is a staunch believer in research and deep dives into individual companies. He avoids the fancy reports and presentations provided by the companies. Instead, he prefers meticulously analyzing financial statements, competitive landscapes, and future growth potential. He digs deep into companies and their claimed numbers. He wants to know everything about a company before he puts his money down. This approach allows him to identify undervalued gems with strong intrinsic value, irrespective of short-term market sentiment. Here's how he dissects a stock. Burry goes beyond the surface level of financial statements. He analyzes them like a detective, scrutinizing cash flow, profitability margins, debt levels, and off-balance sheet items. He tries to find inconsistencies, red flags, and hidden strengths, which builds a complete picture of the company's financial health. For example, his early bet on water-related companies wasn't just based on their business models, but on a deep understanding of their robust financials and future water demand potential. Burry just doesn't analyze companies in isolation, he meticulously examines their competition as well. His shorting of subprime mortgages wasn't just about predicting the bubble, but also understanding the fundamental flaws in lending practices and the unsustainable competitive landscape within the mortgage industry. He uses his research to project a company's future trajectory. He looks for strategic plans, expansion initiatives, innovative products, or emerging trends that can drive future growth. His early investment in GameStop wasn't just about its existing business, it was about its potential to leverage its brick-and-mortar presence and adapt to the evolving gaming landscape. Cross-referencing and verification Burry doesn't trust information blindly. He cross-references data from multiple sources, verifies industry reports with independent research, and even conducts his own investigations. He challenges assumptions, debunks claims, and builds a watertight case before making an investment decision. His research into the housing market wasn't limited to readily available reports. He dug into mortgage documents, spoke to industry insiders, and pieced together a comprehensive picture of the whole crisis. Number 2 focus on intrinsic value. Unlike many investors who chase short-term trends and profits, Burry prioritizes companies with strong intrinsic value. He believes that the market will eventually recognize the correct price, regardless of temporary fluctuations. This focus on intrinsic value, characterized by a long-term perspective, has served him well in identifying companies with significant upside potential. Burry's research is wholly aimed at finding investments with intrinsic value. Burry believes in buying companies at significant discounts to their intrinsic value, creating a margin of safety. This buffer protects him from potential declines in the market and gives him room for the company's value to catch up to his assessment. His short against Tesla, despite its current success, was based on his belief that the company was significantly overvalued at the time. Number 3. Risk Management and Diversification Despite his bold, contrarian bets, Burry is a meticulous risk manager. He utilizes stop-loss orders, carefully sizes his positions, and maintains a significant cash buffer to weather market downturns. 
He also diversifies his portfolio across asset classes, industries, and geographical locations, mitigating the impact of potential losses in any single segment. Burry's approach to risk management and diversification is as meticulous as his research on intrinsic value. He understands that even the best bets can turn sour, and careful risk management is a safety net for his investments. Here's how he navigates the potential pitfalls. Cash Buffer Burry believes in keeping a substantial cash buffer, a financial cushion ready to absorb market downturns and unforeseen setbacks. This allows him to take advantage of buying opportunities that arise when panic takes hold of the market, as during the 2008 financial crisis, he used this cash to acquire valuable assets like these senior tranches of mortgage-backed securities at significantly discounted prices, further amplifying his profits. Diversification Beyond the Surface Burry's diversification goes beyond simply spreading his investments across different stocks. He diversifies across industries, sectors, and even geographical locations. This ensures that a downturn in one sector, like his short against Tesla, doesn't negatively impact his portfolio holdings in other unrelated areas, like his investments in gold and farmland. Constant Monitoring and Adaptation Burry doesn't set his strategy and forget it. He actively monitors his portfolio, analyzes market trends, and adjusts his approach as needed. This dynamic approach allows him to identify emerging risks, reposition assets, and capitalize on new opportunities while maintaining his overall risk profile. For example, he recognized the potential for government intervention in the housing market and adjusted his positions accordingly, further shielding himself from downside risk. Number 4. Patience and Discipline Burry's success hinges on his unwavering patience and discipline. He holds his investments for the long term, often weathering market storms and resisting the temptation to panic sell. This emotional resilience allows him to benefit from the compounding effect of time and value appreciation, a crucial factor in his long-term returns. Number 5. Adaptability and Openness to Learning Michael Burry is not a static investor clinging to outdated strategies. He actively seeks out new information, embraces diverse perspectives, and adapts his approach based on changing market dynamics. This intellectual agility allows him to identify new opportunities, navigate evolving landscapes, and stay ahead of the curve. These are some basic things Michael Burry does before investing in anything. It doesn't necessarily give him success every time, but it is the most optimal way to go about investing. A long-term investment strategy can always give you huge returns because it factors in the growth of the company as time goes by. Daily arced in such a manner that I found myself right in the middle of the financial meltdown, profiting from it because I had predicted it. I committed myself to educating myself as opportunities arose.